start with government deserves commendation for keeping the lights on uh, for all these years, since 2017. Um, Shaman, what we saw between 2012 to 2016 is easily the worst and longest period of power crisis in our country. And the problem was that we didn't have reserve capacity. We didn't have enough dependable capacity to meet the demand, which I think was caused by two major factors, um, lack of planning and lack of timely investment into the sector. And that's why we saw the problem that we saw between 2012 and 2016 uh, when the NDC was in power. There wasn't an integrated planning and there wasn't timely investment in the sector. So when the investment eventually came, it was in the form of an emergency. And the, 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 the further problem that was created was that more capacity was procured than we needed. Further bequeathing the economy with humongous debt. In trying to solve the problem in an emergency way, we created some more problems. That was the problem that we faced at that time, when the lights will be on barely for 12 hours and off for 24 hours. That's not the situation that we saw briefly in the last couple of months. Because from now, our capacity, the capacity, generation capacity that we have, far outstrips the demand that we have. Our highest peak demand, peak demand, highest peak demand, which was recorded last year, is 3,618 megawatts, 3,618 megawatts, and we have capacity of over 5,000 megawatts currently as a country, 5,639 megawatts capacity. And so if you look at the difference, there can be no way that you can compare this situation where there's enough capacity, demand cannot outstrip the supply. You can't compare this to what we saw in the past when we couldn't meet the demand. What happened recently, which thankfully government has been able to take a hold of the situation and um, the hope is that we'll, we will see no more, is that there were a couple of, a cocktail of issues coming together at the same time. Um, we had the water level, we water level drop very significantly. We had uh, issues with some of the power plants going down around the same time. And then, of course, we, have, we had some uh, fuel you know, procurement issues. But thankfully, we've been able to put all those matters behind us. Uh, the Ghanaian people can attest to the fact that the lights are on um, and they are able to go about economic activity and their lives and their livelihoods. Uh, in, in the manner that they, they, they desire. And, and we believe that the situation will continue uh, the way it is going forward under the leadership of the President, Nanadu Dankwa Kufu.